Welcome to my living room. I'm Professor McLean, and this is a new installment of Icon Dogs. Welcome back. Now, as the old saying goes, a picture is worth a thousand words. Since ancient times, man has used symbols to convey messages, ideas, and warnings. One of the best, most effective examples of this is the bathroom gender icon. Now the exact origins of these symbols are murky, different places adopted them at different times. However, we can trace the history of the symbol's evolution back to the man who gave us the original concept, the isotype. That man is Austrian scholar Otto Neurath. Inspired at an early age by Egyptian hieroglyphics, Neurath spent years of his life working to develop an advanced pictorial language. It was his hope that his language could be used to convey ideas and knowledge through simple images, using a system he called the Vienna Method of Pictorial Statistics. Here's how it works. You start with the raw data, then create a symbol that represents different proportions of that raw data. Then, you use the symbol to represent the data you want to show to people. Even after Neurath's death in 1945, his work lived on through the efforts of his wife, Mary Riedemeister, as well as through his book, From Hieroglyphics to Isotype. The isotype itself was a grandparent to the pictographs now used in public spaces such as bus terminals, airports, and libraries. Despite the success of the Vienna Method, it took nearly 40 years for isotypes to see their first use on the international stage, the Olympic Games. For years, the Olympics had dealt with the same challenge how to direct people of diverse languages and backgrounds to the various sporting events. But in 1964, the Tokyo Olympics enlisted the help of designer Masasa Katsumi, who created 59 monochromatic isotypes, each depicting a specific event. The system worked, and in 1972, German graphic artist Otto Eicher was hired to refine these Olympic isotypes. He created 180 symbols designed to fit a standardized grid and angles at 45 degree increments. This grid system became a recognized design standard that is still used today in the design of many of our modern isotypes, including the subject of today's doc, the male-female restroom icons. Around the same time as Eicher was developing his grid system, inventor Henry Dreyfus convinced the American Department of Transportation to adopt the pictograms for use in international transportation hubs. Although Dreyfus died before the pictograms were put in place, 50 symbols were adopted, including most notably the restroom gender icons. So there you have it, from ancient Rome to Egypt, to Austria in the 1920s, and even the Olympics, gender icons continue to evolve. Soon it seems there will be a new stage in the evolution of gender icons, with the addition of a gender neutral symbol for those people who identify with a different gender than the one they were born as. Well, that's all the time we have for today. We hope you learned a lot, and you stay classy, Homer.